Okay, so as part of our revision on elasticity of demand, let's take a quick look at a demand curve which is inelastic. Now, what that means is that the coefficient of price elasticity of demand is less than one. Demand is price inelastic. Demand is unresponsive to a change in the price. So, for example, a 20% increase in price might only lead to, let's say, a 4% fall in demand. So 4 divided by 20 gives an elasticity of only 0.25, less than 1. Now, the total revenue earned by the firm depends on the price elasticity of demand following a price change. Let's look at an example here. If the coefficient of elasticity demand is less than 1, in other words, if demand is inelastic, an increase in the market price, shown here as a price rise from P1 to P2, it'll cause quantity... Uh, sold to contract from Q1 to Q2, but notice that the fall in quantity uh, from Q1 to Q2 is significantly less in terms of revenue than the increase in the, in the unit price they're selling. So the lost revenue from a contraction of quantity sold, shown in yellow, is less than the increase in revenue for the firm from selling their product at a much higher price. So the blue area is greater than the yellow area, therefore total revenue will go up. Key revision point, when demand is inelastic, an increase in price will cause an increase in revenue for the firm. Turn it around, a fall in the price, for example, from P2 to P1, would cause a fall in the total revenue for the supplier. So when demand is inelastic, oftentimes firms will be looking to increase their selling price. Many factors make demand inelastic, for example, a strong brand loyalty, uh, to a particular product, a high cost of switching from one product to another. Perhaps the product only takes up a small percentage of people's incomes. Uh, perhaps it's regarded by consumers as a, as a necessity, or it may have a limited number of, of close substitutes. The other aspect, of course, could be that the product has become a habit-forming um, good. So same old, same old, you're going to buy even if the price goes up. But the crucial point is to think about the, the importance of an inelastic demand for the relationship between the price the firm is getting and the total revenue that the firm will earn.